Hello Tech Trends friends, the iPhone 15 Pro has been released and there will be a review in the coming days, so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. There was a lot of discussion about the heat development and that's what we want to test today on the Pro model. We will also test how long the iPhone 15 Pro takes to reach 100%. As a comparison, we have the Pro model from last year, the iPhone 14 Pro. And as a charger, we have a Basis 65 watt charger for this and we use the original charging cables that came with the iPhones. I will also test the heat development of the charger. The batteries in both smartphones are empty. The iPhone 14 Pro hasn't cooled down completely yet because I was still using it to drain the battery. But the difference is small so we should get an accurate result. In summary, we test heat development, charging speed and also the quality of the charger. Let's start. The current room temperature is 19 degrees Celsius or 66 degrees Fahrenheit. And we measure right at the beginning and as I said before, the iPhone 14 Pro is slightly warmer because it hasn't cooled down yet completely. Now first I am looking for the hottest spot on the iPhone, which is uh, probably right next to the cameras. The iPhone 14 Pro is at 30 degrees and uh, the iPhone 15 Pro heats up slowly and uh, is at 26 degrees Celsius. I will measure every 10 minutes so that we can see the development. Enough talk, let's start. After the first 10 minutes we only see a slight increase in temperature. I showed the temperatures in the video. What's more interesting to me is that the iPhone 14 Pro seems to charge faster at the beginning. We have 16% on the iPhone 15 Pro and 22% on the iPhone 14 Pro. After 20 minutes the iPhones are already a bit warm, with the iPhone 15 Pro we measured around 31 degrees Celsius and with the 14 it was 32 degrees Celsius. Yes, the devices are warm but so far there is no sign of any unusual heat development. When it comes to battery level, the iPhone 14 Pro is still ahead and now has 39% and the iPhone 15 Pro has 35%. After half an hour, the temperature of the devices seems to remain relatively constant. The battery level is also getting closer. The 15 Pro is at 52% and the 14 is at 55%. But the basis charger is significantly warmer at 50 degrees Celsius or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So 10 minutes later, the devices no longer get warmer, but behave very consistently. The iPhone 15 Pro now also has the same battery level as the 14 Pro, namely 67%. The smartphones are now slowly cooling down and the iPhone 15 Pro has now overtaken the 14 Pro in terms of battery and is at 77%.
After about an hour we can say that heat is actually no longer a problem. We are at 25 degrees, but the charging is now very slow. We are still at 84% or 83%. And after 1 hour and 10 minutes, no big change, neither in temperature nor in charging speed. As we see, the devices are cooling down more and more. In my opinion it takes a little long to fully charge. But many people only charge their device up to 80% anyway, because it increases the lifetime of a battery. Do you charge your smartphone complete or up to 80%? Write in the comments. After an hour and a half, we have a good temperature, but the batteries are still not fully charged. Let's see how long it takes. The iPhone 15 Pro is still at 99%. It could only be a matter of minutes, I think, or I hope. So, we have it 100% after 1 hour and 44 minutes. In conclusion, heat is not a problem with the iPhone 15 Pro. However, I would like the charging speed to be better. The basis charger got quite warm at times. The highest temperature I measured was 50 degrees Celsius. This is not uncommon with chargers, but I want to mention it anyway. Do you already have a new iPhone or do you have any questions about it for my review? Write in the comments, leave a like and a subscription. Until the next video, have a good time.